EU leaders have described the shooting of a prominent Dutch crime journalist as an attack on our values. This man, Peter de Vries, was gunned down in Amsterdam on Tuesday and remains in hospital in a serious condition. Authorities are investigating possible links to his reporting and his role in a court case against a major criminal gang described by police as a well-oiled killing machine. A day after one of the Netherlands' most famous journalists was gunned down, well-wishers gather on the street where he was shot. Witnesses say Peter de Vries was shot five times, including once in the head. An incomprehensible crime for many here. Shocking. It's really shocking news what happened to Peter de Vries. It was really not expected, even if a lot of people did think he was doing something dangerous. But it should never happen. De Vries had just finished an interview on Dutch TV when he was attacked. The 64-year-old journalist rose to prominence for his crime reporting and as an advocate for survivors of violent crimes. Activities police long feared would make him a target for reprisals. Dutch authorities describe his attempted murder as an attack on the country's freedom of the press and democracy, and an attempt to snuff out one of the country's leading voices. Peter R. de Vries is for us all. Peter de Vries is a national hero for all of us, an uncommonly brave journalist, tireless in his search for justice, fully independent and free of spirit. De Vries is currently in serious condition at this hospital. Dutch police have arrested three men in connection with the attack, including the suspected shooter. So far, no motive has been identified. And DW's Max Sunday is in Amsterdam following the story for us. He's actually in the street where Mr. Fries was gunned down. Max, let's start with Peter de Fries' condition. What have you heard? Right, Nicole. There is very little information coming out of the hospital where Peter de Vries is being treated at the moment, also due to security reasons. But what we do know is also, as, as we heard in the report, that eyewitnesses um, saw him being attacked by, uh, by, by the alleged gunman, and he was shot with up to five times, also struck in the head. So we have reason to believe that he has very, very uh, um, serious injuries and is in a very serious condition. And also the mayor of Amsterdam, who we also just heard, uh, said in her first, uh, first uh, public appearance, first time talking to the press about this, that he is in the hospital right now fighting for his life. What do we know about the motives? Well, Peter de Vries is one of the most popular journalists here in the Netherlands, and he is by no doubt the crime journalist, has been working on high-profile crime cases for the past four decades and has been shining a light on the, the Dutch underworld, so to say. So he has also been, uh, been making a lot of enemies. He's been gaining a huge uh, audience, but also making a lot of any enemies and, and, make, and putting himself in, into a lot of danger. He has in the past received death threats and also uh, has been under police uh, um, protection uh, before. But uh, apart from this, we only know in what kind of environment he is navigating right now. But all the, the, the evidence um, is uh, circumstantial at the moment. It's not yet clear uh, what exactly the circumstances of this attack were. There's been an outpouring of sympathy after the attack. What have reactions in Amsterdam been to his being gunned down? That's right. I mean, as you can see behind me, there's a there's a um, a little a little site here. This is the site where he actually was gunned down uh, almost 24 hours ago. Um, uh, through the course of the day, a lot of people showed up just to, to pay their respects uh, to to uh, to lay down some flowers, um, um, which is uh, quite uh, qu quite quite something. If you imagine that he's he's this would uh, that he is he's been injured, but he has he has not passed, so he's in critical condition in, in, in the hospital yet, and still uh, he has a lot of followers coming here um, in, in support. Um, and also, uh, look, we had uh, international leaders, also Dutch leaders, um, speaking about this, calling this uh, an attack, labeling this an attack on the, on the press. Uh, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said uh, Peter de Vries, was a, uh, this was an attack on a, on a brave journalist and also an attack on, on press freedom itself. Max Sander in Amsterdam, thank you very much.